Hi, Fertility Fam. It is I, Sonika. How is everyone doing this evening? Oh, I thought I would make this video before I go to bed. I am buku tired. So let's just jump on into things. All right. So today I have my appointment at my fertility doctor to do my baseline ultrasound and blood work. So I went in to do my ultrasound. Um, she did a transvaginal ultrasound <clears throat> with Wanda. Wanda was not very nice to me. I should let y'all know that. She caused me great pain. <laughs> But uh, she went tried to do transvaginal and it didn't work. She could not find my ovaries like all the time. Usually it's the left one that they really can't find, but she couldn't find both of them. And so she did an um, ultrasound from the outside of my stomach and she was able to find them. Um, the left one had one ovary measuring a four and the right one had three ovaries and they all were fours. My lining was also a four. Then I went to go get um, some blood work. I uh, had my blood work done. And the results are as following. So, let's see. She called me right when I was about to go into acupuncture. I pulled up in the driveway. Phone rang. It was that much was I felt was good time because I kept thinking about what if they called me while I'm on the table. So, she called me as soon as I pulled up. Okay, so my estrogen... 38, LH, 35, uh, FSH, 98, I mean 9.8, <laughs> uh, prolactin, 11.3, TSH, 0 0.70. Okay, so um, she said that the doctor, only thing the doctor was concerned about was my FSH, because they say my FSH uh, is borderline diminished ovarian reserve. When I heard that, honestly, it was like a kick in the gut. I don't know why, but it just made me start doubting the whole cycle. Like at that moment, I just felt like I felt like a deflated balloon, just like hmm, you know that that thing that be outside the car lots or whatever, and just be like so happy, like come on in, buy all you want, come on in. And then when it let out and then just go, oh, that was me. First I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting me a IUI. I'm going to get pregnant. Oh yeah, come on in. I'm going to do this. And then I heard that diminished ovarian reserve and was like, oh. <sighs> That's exactly how I felt. And so went into my acupuncture. Got on the table, she did her thing, and the whole time I was laying there, I just, my mind was just running like, I'm wasting my money, this is not gonna work. What the heck did I do this for? I'm gonna, she's never gonna get to have anybody to play with. It was, it was so many things running through my brain. And then I just had to calm my brain and start talking to God. And that's exactly what I did. I calmed my brain and started talking to God. And I started having a conversation with him, but then my mind was still wandering because I don't know, when I talk to God, I, I don't really like to talk about me. I like to talk about other people and start asking him, you know, to help this person or bless this person or watch out for this person. And, and that turned into one of them, them sessions on the table. It was like, forget my problems, God. Nobody problems bigger than mine. I have uh, TT followers who right now are praying that their baby and plan. I got TT followers who are asking for their follicles to grow. I have TT followers, you know, and that's basically what my prayer session began. Just me praying for all of y'all, you know. Um, so... After it was all over with, I, and I can honestly say probably the last 10 minutes, I fell asleep on the table. It's like I must have prayed till I couldn't pray anymore. And then I just fell asleep on the table because she came in and she was like, she, she, I didn't even realize that, you know, it was over just that quick. So 
went out soon after that. I had, I wanted to go home and I, I, they let me see a copy of my file from three years ago when I went there to get my IOI and I got pregnant with Charlie. And they let me see my numbers and I had a picture. So I, I wrote down to compare to see, you know, what happened in three years. So, you know, I am CD4, I should say. Well, see, I mean, they counted as CD3 because I, my period came late Saturday. But um, these these tests was taken CD2. But my estrogen uh, three years ago was 35. And now it's 38. My LH was 28. And now it's 35. My FSH was 8.0. And now it's 9.8. My prolactin was 8.2. And now it's 11.3. And the TSH was 0 0.68 and now it's 0 0.70. <clears throat> so it's not really that much of a significant jump in my numbers, but I just, it was just that FSH. It wasn't even the number of the FSH. It was hearing the word diminish ovarian reserve. It just made, at first I felt like I was looking at a, first I always thought of, a bouquet of balloons and then when she said that I just felt like somebody was just popping my balloons and just like nope 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 and it hurt it really did so the plan is and here's my calendar I don't know if y'all can see that but here's my calendar this is today day three and it's follow stem, 175, and I have to take it between four and six. And today I took it about 5.30. I was doing a lot of running today, and I had to hurry up and take it. And I let my husband give me the injection. I won't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah. And right after I took the injection, um, maybe like an hour later, my breast started hurting really bad, especially my nipples. They just started tingling. I was just like, I don't know. So that made me feel like the medicine did get in me. <laughs> so, but yeah. And that's basically the sum of my appointment. I have to take the 175 for the next three days and then I go back Friday. I just, I don't know. I don't want to say that I don't think the cycle is going to work. I don't want to say that because I know that it can work. I'm just, just got to get out this funk that I feel now that I've heard those words. And I have to know that those words don't define me or my fertility. That I can do this, you know? So, that's what I need to do. But, oh, and my lining was a four. So, my lining was a four. And the one, I had one on my left, three on my right. And all those were fours. So, look at that, four, 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 four. Maybe it's a sign. I don't know. So, I just want one golden egg. One golden egg, and I'll be good. So, that is all my beautiful family. That is all. That's all she wrote. Until next time. Yeah.